Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back playing some more Minecraft Hardcore today. Um, that's right, we are back in our world. Um, so, in the last video, uh, we actually made, uh, hold up, you stay there, okay. We actually made this really awesome looking, uh, windmill right here, and we had a little farm, I added a little camping area over there. Um, I also made this custom tree right here. I made a one right there. Um, you might notice also that there's some new guys over there. Um, another pillager party spawned, or whatever you call it, pillager patrol, um, right there. And I actually have a really cool idea. So the next project I want to make is actually a fishing lake. That's right. We're going to have this giant lake over here and maybe even a river going over there. And then there's going to be a fishing like lodge right there with a path coming from over there to there. I think it'll be a really cool idea. Um, but first, actually, um, what we have to do is first, let's actually, I got 37 levels, so now we can enchant our chest plate real quick. So, obviously, we know we're going to get protection 4 out of this, which is amazing. Nothing else, but it's protection 4. You can't really, uh, you definitely can't really complain, can you? And I actually also, while off camera, found some more diamonds. I found some more diamonds. We have two more veins down there, so I think we should be able to get uh, a full set of diamond armor. So let's go down there now. Just gotta follow down here. And it's actually, uh, it's down this tunnel. There's actually two veins all the way down there. Yep. Right, so the first vein is right over here. And yep, that is, uh, I can't really see. Let's uh, put this in there. So there's four ores here. We get one. Two. Um. I was not very lucky with that one. Okay. Uh, eight still, though. So let's go see the other one. And the other one was right here. Four again. So this one. Eleven. Okay. Twelve. Fifteen. And nineteen. Okay. That wasn't actually too bad. All right. Out of eight, uh, we got nineteen. There was eight, so we doubled it. Okay. That's that's pretty good. And then we also have the plus three, so we should be able to get full diamond armor now. Let's go. All right. So we need to craft uh, a helmet and boots. Hold on. Let me put this away. So basically, we can craft a helmet. Boom. And some boots. There we go. Look at that. So now we officially have. Full diamond armor. Look at that. Now we just need to start enchanting all these, huh? To get maxed out. Let's see what we can even enchant now. So, protection three. Not really what I'm looking for. I'm breaking three. No. Uh. Uh. I might need to, uh. Let's just. Let's just, uh. Cycle one of these real quick. Let's see. Aqua infinity. Fire now. Oh, I'm breaking three. No, it's not what I'm looking for. Protection three. No, protection three. No, fire predict. No, I don't. I don't want that. There has to be something good here. Come on. Oh, I, I put a log in there. I'm breaking three. Fire protection three. I'm break. No, why is there nothing good? Get an efficiency one. I'm breaking three. I'm breaking three. Protection four. And I'm breaking three. Okay, that's good. And then we can just get feather falling four also on that. Okay. Not terrible. At least we did get a protection four. Thank God. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to have to start working on this pond, which it's going to be annoying to make, bro. I got to like, I think at the bottom I want to be a mixture of like andesite, cobble, mossy cobble, and stone. Cobblestone. And then, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go gather some resources real quick. And actually, guys, it's actually day 99 right now. Would you look at that? In literally one more day, it's gonna be day 100. And, uh, we do have diamond armor. Okay, but, um, we're, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good, guys. There we go. So now I have, uh, five, four stacks of that. And actually, there's also an andesite, uh, like, little quarry or whatever right next to my mine shaft so good let me just mine this real quick and there's actually a reason i collect all of these vines because if you didn't know if you actually combine cobblestone with vines you get mossy cobblestone which is perfect this doesn't work with mossy stone bricks though so mossy cobblestone i'm just glad you can make it because that would have been a lot harder to get if you couldn't 
And guys, as we go to sleep on day 99, that will soon be day 100, guys. We made it to day 100. 100 days survived in this world. Wow. We're obviously going to keep going, though, but that's just a crazy achievement. Let's go. Boom. Oh, hello there. Um, how are you doing? Lo oh, just, uh, excuse me, sir. That's not your house. You're not even selling really good stuff, are you? I mean... Do I want to take kelp? No, I think I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Lily the Valley, though. Uh, nah, it's it's fine. You can just do whatever you want, I guess. <laughs> so basically, the lake's going to be on this kind of level, and this is how big it is, kind of. I guess I'm just going to start filling stuff in then, right? I guess. <laughs> no. What is this Enderman doing, bro? Why? Why is he picking up my crap, bro? Did he take anything? Where did he go? Darn it. And I might actually just kill one of these, uh, the banner villager. Hold up. That's right. There we go. Voluntary exile. Look at that. We now have Bad Omen for an hour and 40 minutes. Um, at least we got this ominous banner, but to be honest, I really just want this guy because he's actually, I have a, I have a plan for him. Great place to put this banner would actually be right there. Boom.
this is how it's coming along pretty good. We got this little kind of ridge over here, edge of the lake. Now I just need to keep going lower. <coughs> no, oh, oh, okay. Well, uh, I don't suppose you want to just uh, die just like the zombie. Cha-ching, and pop. You know, I really do like this cobblestone and site, whatever pattern. It's it's looking really nice. I just need to get quite a few more materials. Ooh, this lake is actually taking quite a long time, but luckily it should be finished soon. <laughs> All right, and then we're on to our last layer right here. Jeez, this has taken a long time, way longer than I thought. <laughs> And finally, we actually finished kind of the outline of the lake. Obviously, we're going to have to add water, but I'm actually going to add the water after we put this dock up that I want to do, and then this is where the cottage is going to go. So I want to get that started, because that might take a while. <laughs> and for this, what I'm going to do is when I'm building a dock, I'm going to need, like, a lot of campfires. Oh, and they're so annoying to make. All right. <laughs> also, holy cow. I never knew spruce trees could get this big, by the way. Jeez, this is a lot of wood, which is, uh, good. <laughs> Bro, whose idea was it to make Minecraft fence gates so freaking expensive, though, dude? Seriously. And just, like, fences in general, dude. They're, like, for three for that much? Bro, it just pisses me off, man. It really does. <laughs> So we kind of want the dock to start off there, and if this dirt, so I think the three stairs could come off like that, maybe, and then we just bring the campfires out, like, how do you even place campfires? Oh, I don't know, dude. Like, place them like that? Okay, and then I just place them like that. Three. Okay. I don't even know how big I want this, but then how do I... I can just use a shovel, right? Yeah. Uh, there, that's easier. You know what? I actually really like that design. I think I found that one, and I'll put lanterns on there eventually, and... Okay, that I, I'm, I, I'm happy with that. So basically, this is the dock, and I just started... I'm gonna add bits, and then this is where the house is gonna go, and I'm... Just kind of sketching it out, planning. Bro, now I literally need to get just, like, so many dark oak, um... I need a lot of dark oak, yep. Bro, our bad omen is just about to run out. That gives you an idea for how long I've been playing. Um, yep, it's been, it's, it's taken a while for sure. <laughs> so I do kind of want to make a unique roof for this fishing hut. Like, I don't just want to do kind of a boring roof. So like, uh, oh, didn't want to do that. So I kind of want it to go not just exactly just straight, like, oh, it'll be easier if I show you. So to give you an idea, basically that's going to be one side and it's going to go kind of like a unique pattern, you know? Yeah, I really like that shape. And instead of just having it all the way like that, that would be pretty boring. We're going to make it kind of expand outwards on either side here. It'll be cool. Trust, trust, trust. And basically, when I say really expanding out, all I really mean is just literally one block. It's going to just go out one time, and then this is going to be like, it's going to go this way. Kind It's a little bit confusing. It'll make sense when it's finished. Now we kind of just need to start kind of adding just some of these kind of wonky bits kind of, or just to fill in kind of this with jungle wood, which I thought the unique and looks actually pretty cool. And I was thinking of some way to implement deep slate into my build, because I have so much of it. And I thought of a way. I just use dark oak kind of stairs for the outer brim of the ceiling. But then I can just use these deep slate tile stairs that look really nice for the, uh, for the roof. So basically, this kind of uh, outer brim will be uh, dark oak, but then this will just actually... Hold up. So basically what I mean is I kind of just do the outer brim like that, and then this basically inner roof will just literally just be a uh, deep slate. And dark oak and deep slate actually work really nice with each other. It's, it's, actually, it's actually nice, dude. But yeah.
And as some of you might have noticed, I've now switched to bread because I have so much wheat fields and I do not have any more steak. But as you can see, the deep slate actually looks really nice on here. So I guess I'll just finish doing this part now. So basically, I'm kind of doing the same pattern like that, just on here, basically. So basically, it's going to basically, like, if I come out all the way over here past the lake, after, eventually it will be filled with water, as you can see, it's going to be like that on either side. I think it'll be pretty cool. Pretty cool when it's done. And then the inside, that's another level. <sighs> so then if we line this up right here, which would then end up being right here, I need to grab some more dirt. Hold up. So like I was saying, when if we add this right up there, this goes up pretty high, doesn't it? It goes up to like, yeah, to there. And then we just kind of do this. So let's take a look. Wow, I actually really like the roof. This is coming along very nice. Now I just need to do the back. <laughs> really, all it's just a very long process of just trying to you just build and build and then get resources. Dude, this thing take. Oh, uh, building can get tiring, bro. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Now this uh, this bit is finished, and I kind of almost uh, I added kind of a stripe of dark oak to go through the middle. But overall, the frame is looking pretty good. Now we just need to fill this all in with jungle planks. It's not actually that bad. Just filling this in. It's just got to do a mixture of planks and the stripped jungle wood, and it makes pretty cool patterns, to be honest with you. And then we just go up here and uh, eventually do this whole thing. All right, guys, and there it is. We just placed all of the jungle planks in there. Um, inside, it's... Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely not finished in there. But um, basically, we got... All of the jungle wood placed and just about good because I basically ran out of jungle wood. All I have is 19 jungle planks left. So, good. We uh, we finished it all. Let's just uh, keep going kind of around this with kind of this wood pattern that I was kind of doing. That's, uh, yeah, just going to keep doing it around here kind of. So, there's a little bit of a problem. Under here, I made this bridge, but... um. You can hear a lot of mobs under here, because, to be honest, what I actually did is I built all this grass. This is a giant hole with, like, a giant cave going down there. I just filled it up with grass, so there's going to be a ton of mobs down there. It's literally going to be... If I fall down there, dude, I'm dead. That's, like, literally a mob spotter now. But I'm going to start maybe working on the path that leads up there down here to the fishing room, right? So now that I kind of have the wood board kind of going over here, now I'm just going to start to add some coarse dirt and more uh, dirt path to kind of bring the path around there. And then this will look actually pretty cool. And obviously some more details and stuff. So I actually thought of a good way to get there. Basically, I've started making kind of the path. It's actually going to curve around here. And uh, it's going to come over here. I just, I'm going to need to get rid of this bush. I can put it somewhere else, but... Time to get rid of this bush. It was a good decoration while we had it. I'll just move it somewhere else that's not in the way. <laughs> also, a really good decoration is barrels, so I'm going to need to start adding, like, a lot of barrels here and stuff, which will eventually look really cool. So now the little pathway is officially done. It goes all the way from over there all the way up here. You go up these little slabs go around this tree which I really like and then you just get led back to the main path where you can go to the windmill to the camp or this way so now there's three ways I like this this is it's coming along together our world so we're actually gonna make something on this side that should actually look really cool it's gonna be right up here it's kind of gonna be like hanging a little bit uh it should be cool basically if we do something like break that one like that and that so it's like yeah like that then uh we might need to actually go out a little bit on both sides then if we do like that like that put a trap door i probably want to strip that actually before doing that and then strip this as well and then we add a fence gate to there and then looks like we also need to go up this way. Then add that. 
Uh, and then I need chains. Hold up. I th don't you make chains like this, right? It's been a while. Yeah. And three chains. And then it's just about turning night. But if I then add three chains like there, there, and there. And then we actually place a cauldron underneath. Hold up, bro. This could look really cool. Look at that, bro. It's like a bucket that basically dips into the river. That's really cool, dude. Oh, I'm happy with that, man. I also want to make like a nice little kind of almost sheltered little storage thing here as well. That could oh, that could be uh that could be cool as well. So basically, my plan was you could we could do oh, I uh, I forget that happens. Darn it. But basically, we can just do like that. And then basically, it's gonna be like a. Are you kidding me, dude? Darn it, man. Oh. Ow! Ow! Jeez, they do a surprising amount of damage. <laughs> um, I may have crafted... I may have crafted a little bit, uh... Just a little bit too many, huh? E yeah, I crafted five extra. It's fine, though. It's just five extra, right? No harm. No foul. Ow! Yeah, those hurt. <laughs> so now, basically, under this little shelter, what I'm just gonna do is kind of just... Uh, well, I was kind of just going to do that, and then I was thinking we could even do a few, like, cauldrons like that. Yeah! You know what? That actually looks pretty nice. I like that. Some cauldrons. Because I had, I have three cauldrons. I don't really need them for anything right now. And then we have this. Just going to add a little more detail to the outside. Also, right under here, I also think it would be kind of a cool idea to also as well, kind of just, like add a, quite a few barrels and stuff just like kind of just like you know what just like kind of that maybe add one there barrels actually look really good in kind of like a fishing dock actually and I'm, I'm really I, I like them on fishing deck i'm also gonna add some fences here maybe sadly i think we're gonna have to kill this acacia tree i really like having a tree here but actually, it might be better to just build a custom one like we've been doing for... I've built three so far. One there, one there, and one there. We could add We could add another one there. Probably look better as well. Yeah. Well, the tree had to come down at some point. And actually... Yeah. And with some of these stairs, uh, we could actually bring this out a bit. Kind of bring this down over to here. And, well... This is eventually going to become my kind of staircase over here, I think. And then it'll basically... Oh, I might want it just to do like that. And then... And then, yeah, just kind of just go up kind of eventually to here. Yeah, okay. Also, we're on, when I put my fishing poles down, I could actually make this pretty cool looking shelf like that. And I could just put item frames on that. That could be cool. Yeah. Also, I'm a really big fan. I love white stained glass panes. They're literally just amazing. And for my fish tank, I thought, why don't I just... Oh. But if I do that, then, then we won't be able to see... Because they need to be waterlogged, huh? So it'll need to be just... Uh, darn it. <laughs> Now we also have a nice little fish tank as well, which will eventually have some fish fishes inside of it, or fish inside of it, not fishes. Um, but, uh, yeah, huh. We also have a nice little chair, because it wouldn't be a complete little shop without a nice little chair, huh? Right? I just realized I actually do not have a lot of string, like, at all. I only could craft one fishing rod. I have not gotten much string so far in this uh, series. I think we're going to need to farm some spiders, huh? But let's get these eight item frames placed basically on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then eventually this hopefully will all be filled up with fishing rods. Got that. Um, and then upstairs, we got this little fence area with the bed. I like having a bed in everyone because it's just like that's where the owner would live and there is actually going to be someone in here so stay tuned for that. I also want to craft quite a few lanterns real quick so luckily I should have no iron. What? Don't tell me I'm out of iron. Oh no I have 24. Okay good. 
Yo, I'm really happy with that. This is gonna be annoying to fill this hole up, but it shouldn't be too bad. Just gotta place that all this like blocks here and then break it all. But I crafted some lanterns, so hopefully what we can do is actually make it look a little bit better. Get rid of these torches, hopefully. We can place like uh only really need one lantern, just add some other things. Place a lantern on kind of these fence posts. One we can put a lantern over there. Just wanna really kind of get rid of lots of these uh get rid of a lot of these kind of just lanterns, you know? There we go. Yeah, should make it look a lot nicer, huh? Let's get rid of this, put one just in there. Yeah. And now I also want to make a little stream going down here and maybe entering out into, uh, I didn't really want, I might get rid of this kind of and actually make a little pond down there. Or, oh, you know what could be cool? I could just have the river going into like a crack in here. That would, that would be cool. Yeah, actually hold up. Um, okay guys, I'm actually... I like this kind of it's like a little stream that's gonna go down to here and then I, I kind of like the idea of it just flowing into here like a kind of underground area that could be cool now I'm just starting to place dirt all around here so I can then just place water all over it but oh it's a process all right <laughs> by the way guys it is currently day 120 that's how long this has taken Jeez, this this has taken a while huh <laughs> Here we go, it is officially all set up just like this. We got it, we got it, we got it. Now we need to just place a lot of water. We're even going to add a little bit right there. Perfect. Just for our infinite water source. Let's go. We're just kind of like going around at first. This is probably a pretty um, not efficient way to be doing this, but it's uh, I don't want to craft a lot of buckets, so it'll it'll be fine. Wait, can fence gates not be waterlogged, dude? No, that might ruin my whole thing. <laughs> yep, so I just did some research. Fence gates, they cannot be waterlogged, which sucks, dude. I guess I'm just gonna have to turn all of this into a uh, Omer Gates then, huh? Dude, that sucks. I was planning on having these be uh be a uh, waterlogged, cause dude, fence gates just look cool in general. But I guess I'll just. Of course, campfires can be waterlogged, right? Of course. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually gonna clear out this dirt right now. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, this is a chore, dude. This is a chore, but I know it'll all be worth it in the end for the grand reveal. Alright, and I finally added water to all of it. So now, the grand reveal. Look at that, guys. That's that's a lake if I've ever seen one. Um, it does look a little bare at the moment, but what I'm going to do is actually add some decorations around some bamboo and some sugarcane. So let's see how it looks then. <laughs> so I just did add a few sugarcane and some rocks and stuff, but... Listen, I'm... I, I could definitely just call it quits and end it here, but I like to go, I like to either say, like, go for it all, or don't go at all. So, I'm gonna try to find an azalea tree, which should bring me to a lush, ugh, which should bring me to a lush cave. And then, dude, after we get a lush cave, dude, we'll get so many things, and I'm also gonna want to get some fish in there, right? <laughs> yeah. Hold up, are those, are those tropical fi- I do- Those are tropical fish, and there's a dolphin and turtle? And kelp. Wait, it's technically an ocean, but it's like, 
not. Okay, I'm gonna want you. Easy. Tactical fishing. Oh my god, and there's a puffer fish. Ow! Oh. But dude, we got the bucket of puffer fish. Let's go. Hello, Mr. Dolphin. Dude, this is amazing. Let's go. Bro. Dude, look what I found. Let's go. We found an azalea tree, bro. Let's go. Jeez, bro. Lush caves are actually pretty low. I'm at Y level uh, 40. Well, it was high, though, dude. I've been, like, it's a lot, bro. <laughs> Let's go. We got moss, bro. Let's go. Bro, I love lush caves. Look how pretty they are, dude. Yeah, bro. This is awesome. Bro, there's even a mine shaft here, too. Bro, but this is dangerous, dude. I don't know if I should even be down here, dude. Uh, bro, this trip was so successful. We got lots of spore blossoms, three stacks of rooted dirt, some small drip leaves, drip leaves, the leaves, and, uh, bro, that was so good. Let's go. It's a little bit annoying to dig out these little parts in the ground, but whatever. I'm just adding kind of dirt underneath and make sure that and then like slabs. All right, guys. So I actually added quite a few decorations. We got some bamboo kind of all the way around, sugarcane, seagrass, big leaf things, more seagrass. I used some of the moss and kind of made these pretty cool bushes. Another pillager party, it looks like. Um, but we got some kelp as well, and actually, I'm really happy with it, to be honest. I think this is a really cool-looking lake. So, guys, um, I just enabled complimentary shaders just to look at this thing. This, I've actually never had complimentary shaders before. This is awesome, dude. Look at this, though, bro. That is so... Oh, I love it, dude. I was worried this thing was going to crash my game, but... There's the pillagers looking at me. Look at this thing, dude. I'm happy with this, honestly. Like, dude, I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to go back to regular Minecraft with this, dude. This looks amazing, dude. <laughs> Look at the sun. <laughs> also, I decided I should probably just switch the white stained glass to uh, normal glass because it was pretty hard to uh, pretty hard to see, wasn't it? Oh my gosh, dude. And swimming underwater as well. Oh, it's amazing, dude. <laughs> Bro, the emeralds even glow? Look at that. Wow. Now, I just thought of something, guys. Um, so, I do want to name these fish. And I realized I might be able to do it without a name tag just by naming the bucket of fish. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Just make an anvil real quick. And anvil is acquired. Let's go. Um, Let me find a place to put it. I guess we could just put it there for now. Yeah. And, um, hmm. So I thought, we're gonna name this bucket of puffer fish. Uh, let's call him Ren. Ren, I like their name, Ren. And then, this is the Emperor Red Snapper. What's an emperor name? Kind of like, huh. Why don't we call him King, uh, Derek. The, King, King Derek the Third. I think that's a good one. King Derek the third. Dude, I hope this works. I really do, dude. I don't want to have to get name tags. Let's put them in the... Um, we can put them in there. Let's, let's see. Ren. It is called Ren. And King Derek the third. And live happily ever after. King... Wait. Yeah, King Derek the third. That's a... I don't even need name tag. It's like, oh, we have our first two fish. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, thank you. I appreciate it a lot. If you don't, um, if you like my channel and want to see more Minecraft Hardcore, um, make sure to subscribe. And um, make sure to like the video if you want to see more Minecraft Hardcore. This actually took me a long time. So there was a lot of time put in this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Goodbye.